August 16, 1830, the Hamilton Queen sailed from Salem on her maiden voyage, bound for the East Indies. This was an era when the whole world stood at a new threshold of commerce and communication between nations. The story of this vessel is a vital chapter of America's rise to prominence in that era, the historical hour of the clipper ships. Laden with American goods, the queenly vessel slipped from the harbor to which she would bring back the treasured produce of the Orient. As she rode the outgoing tide, the tides of fortune for the young American Republic flowed with her. With speed that was never equaled in the days of sail, the clipper skimmed over the wide blue waters. It was the clipper ship that won America's place in the race between nations for trade and wealth. Yes, the Hamilton Queen carried far more than the valuable cargo and the hold below her rolling deck. She carried the American dream of destiny, and she carried the dreams of men who took in their hands the wheel of destiny, men like young Kirk Hamilton. His was the vision and courage of the seafaring Yankee pioneer. He knew the dangers that faced the pioneer, but his was the energy and the enterprise that ignored the danger and achieved the dream. 86 days out of Salem with a fair wind, the fate of a nation and the fate of Kirk Hamilton was bound up in his ship. Bound around Cape Horn, across the Pacific, and westward to the fabulous fortune-laden Indies. Outward bound for destiny. Eighteen days ahead of our original charted course, Captain Tallman. Aye, Mr. Hamilton. The Clipper certainly justified your new design and proven her worth. She hasn't proven anything yet, Captain. How do we take on the last of our cargo in the East Indies? Deliver it on the Salem docks ahead of competitive shipping companies. Well, barring on...